the pounding on the door that jolted Lila awake that cold October night. She lay frozen in bed, heartbeat thudding in her ears. Had she imagined it? Boom! 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 No, there it was again. Someone was at the front door. Lila crept out of bed, threw on a robe over her pyjamas, and tiptoed out into the hallway. The banging continued, louder and more insistent. Who could it be at this hour? She hesitated at the top of the stairs, then jumped as a voice bellowed from outside. Open up! Police! Police? At her door? Now totally awake, Lila rushed down the stairs. She fumbled with the lock, hands shaking, as a million worst-case scenarios flashed through her mind. Finally, she wrenched open the door. Two uniformed officers loomed in the doorway. The porch light cast ominous shadows across their stern expressions. Behind them, red and blue lights flickered in the darkness. Are you Lila Myers? The taller officer demanded. His name tag read Officer Paxton. Ye yes Lila stammered, clutching her robe tight. What's going on? The officers exchanged an ominous look. Dread sank like a stone in Lila's stomach. Officer Paxton cleared his throat. I'm afraid we have a warrant to search your premises, he said. We received an anonymous tip that you're connected to the Brandon Hayes kidnapping case. Lila's knees nearly buckled. Brandon Hayes? The teenager who had vanished weeks earlier from the neighboring town. How could anyone think she was involved? That can't be, she said aloud without realizing. This has to be some mistake. I don't know any Brandon Hayes. But even as the words left her lips, Lila felt a creeping uncertainty. She had no idea how she had ended up embroiled in this mystery. But she knew one thing for certain. She needed to figure out the truth fast. Lila stood paralyzed in the doorway as the officers pushed past her into the house. She wanted to protest more, to convince them they were mistaken, but the words died in her throat. The taller officer Paxton gave orders to the others to begin searching the premises. Lila's mind raced. What could they possibly be looking for? She had no connection to any kidnapping case. She was sure of it. Lila's heart thundered in her chest as the officers briskly entered her home. Her breaths came in short, panicked gasps, the weight of the situation pressing down on her. Could they have gotten it so wrong? Or was there something she was missing? Unless... A small voice whispered in the back of her mind. Could Richard have done something? hidden something here without her knowing. Her boyfriend had been acting strange lately, but she never imagined. He had been distant recently, his eyes often darting away when they spoke, his touch cooler. Those late nights at work, the muffled phone calls he thought she couldn't hear. Could he be involved? The idea seemed absurd, yet... Lila was snapped out of her thoughts by the echoing thud of her grandmother's vintage voice. She cringed. Memories associated with that vase flashing briefly before she was pulled back to the grim reality. An officer's heavy boots descended the staircase, catching Lila's attention. Officer Paxton held in his hand an old, tattered photograph of a young boy who bore a striking resemblance to Brandon Hayes. But the man standing next to the boy in the photo, arms slung protectively around him, was unmistakably Richard. Lila's voice trembled. Where did you find this? In your attic, he replied, his eyes searching hers. Care to explain? Every fibre in Lila's being screamed in confusion. Richard had a connection to the missing boy. Impossible. Yet the photo was undeniable proof. The search continued, but no further evidence was found. As the officers retreated, Officer Paxton left with a warning. We'll be watching, both of you. With the closing of the door, silence enveloped the house. 
Lila was left with the haunting image of the photograph and the harrowing realization that the man she thought she knew might be a stranger. The house plunged into silence after the officers left. Lila hesitated, then slowly reached for the journal. But a low creaking sound from the basement stopped her. The single bulb down there flickered intermittently, casting unsettling shadows that danced on the walls. From that dimness, a figure emerged, its movements slow and deliberate. As it stepped into the faint light, Lila's heart froze. It was Richard, but there was an unfamiliarity in his stance, a darkness in his eyes she'd never seen. Without a word, he advanced, every step oozing Lila. Before Lila could react, his hands shot out, wrapping around her neck. She tried to scream, but his grip was too strong. There are secrets, Lila. Richard's chilling whisper cut through the silence. That should never see the light of day. Sweet tea tea.